Hello and welcome to Rain Francis Art. My name is Rain. Today is an art therapy day. We're going to be using watercolor paints and a little acrylic splatter to create this painting of lemons hanging from a lemon tree. I hope that you enjoy this, so let's begin. This is what I'll be using for my watercolor painting today. I've got some Strathmore watercolor paper cold press. It's 140 pounds. And I've also got this set of pan paints. The brand is pretty excellent. I got it off Amazon. I'm not promoting any of this. I just love these paints because the colors are so vibrant. Look at what they look like on watercolor paper. Isn't that gorgeous? So I'll be using these today probably just sticking to yellow and green. I've got a palette for my watercolor paints. For my brushes, well, I'm going to be using round brushes. I've got a couple of sizes here. I've got this one in the middle is a size 2. This one over here, the other blue one is a size 4. And this one here is probably an 8 or a 10. I don't know because I've used it so often that the um, writing has been worn off. But basically, I'm using round brushes. I have a couple of dishes of clear water. And I have some paper towel just to wipe off my brushes. I'm using watercolor pencils today. You don't have to use these. I'm only using these to outline my lemons and to outline the stems and the leaves. You don't need to use these. If you want to outline your painting, you can use watercolor pencils or you can use coloring pencils. Or you don't have to outline it at all if you just want to have a really loose pen painting. So I think that's it. Let me clear everything out here. You may notice that I have outlined my canvas with masking tape. I've done this because when I bought my, ma my watercolor paper pad, it didn't have a binding on it and all the pages were loose. So I usually just tape it so that it doesn't move around. And sometimes I like to have you know a frame around it. Here's a tip. If you put masking tape down to um, onto your canvas, use a cloth to push it down. If you use your finger, you will burn your finger and it really burns and it hurts. So use a cloth. Now for my watercolor pencils or your coloring pencil, if that's what you want to use, I'm going to be outlining my lemons and I'm going to use the green to outline the stems and the leaves. Like I said, you may not be able to see this because these colors are very, very light. They're very, very light. So I'm just going to show you I drew this out on my drawing pad. I'm going to be drawing the lemons like this and the leaves like this. So, you know, if you want to copy this, you can always freeze this, uh, stop the video, take a look and draw something out on your own and then put it onto your canvas. I don't recommend using um, graphite pencil onto your canvas directly because it might get a little messy with the yellow but I wanted to show you this so that you could see it just in case when I use the watercolor pencil on my actual canvas it won't it might not show up another thing to keep in mind right now is that you might notice shadows even though I've been doing this channel for over well not over almost a year now I still haven't figured out the lighting when it comes to painting. When I'm drawing, I have the lighting down pat, but when I'm painting, anytime there's water, there's always a glare. So I sort of put my really bright lights out so that I opted for shadow over glare. So I hope that's okay with you guys. This little lesson or painting afternoon that we're going to spend together is not for anything more than art therapy. I just want to relax. I've had a rough week and I just want to relax and paint. And I'm going to be reading some quotes to you, some motivational quotes, and I'm going to talk about those things as I go. So I hope that you enjoy this. Let's begin. Now I'm going to take a look at the original sketch that I have. 
And I'm just going to keep that handy because I'm going to basically mimic that. Like I said, you might not be able to see this part because the yellow watercolor pencil especially is very light. But I'm drawing my lemon, my first lemon here. And I'm going to draw another one right next to it. And it's overlapping. And in my sketch here, I drew a few little circles. That's to kind of remind me that I want to leave those areas of the lemons a little lighter. All right, so now I'm going to just take my light green watercolor pencil and I'm going to just add a stem here. And that stem is going to attach to the lemons and I'm just going to put a few leaves you might hear some banging and drills and things like that my neighbor is building a cottage about an acre away but I live you know I live in the country and sound travels so I can actually hear him drilling and hammering through my walls and he's probably going to be at it all summer so I'm not going to stop making videos I'm just going to let you know that you might hear that all right, so I just have my outline here in my watercolor pencils. And I'm just going to begin by applying some paint. And I think I'm actually going to use the number four size round brush. And I'm going to start with the leaves because I like to start from the top going down to the bottom. I'm right-handed, so I will start from the left going to the right. I've got... I'm going right from the pan. I might not even use my palette today. I'm just getting my brush really wet and I'm just dabbing in a little bit of water. I'm going to do a little wet on wet. All right, and I'm going to use this really light green color. It looks like this on the page, so I might add a couple of layers to it. That's why I'm starting with the leaves. I might add layers. So I'm just going to put the color in. Oh, it's very nice. That's a very nice um, light green color. It's got a yellow in it. I think that's going to complement the lemons very nicely. Oh, that's really nice. All right, so I'm going to, let me see, I'll put this over here so you can see. I'm just rinsing off my brush and tapping it onto the paper towel, dipping it in again. And I'm just going to fill that leaf area here with water. Wherever you put your water, that's where your paint will follow. And that's why I love wet on wet. Because look, I put tons of water and paint in there but the paint's not bleeding out because it's following the water. That's what watercolor paint does. I'm going to go back into that green and do the same thing. Just pop a little color in there. And I'm going to bring it out to the edge of the leaf. Now this is going to be a very, very casual, fun painting that we're going to do just to relax today. I've had such a rough week, <laughs> my goodness. Those of you who know me, well, I'm just going to continue. I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing because you know what I'm doing. I'm going to add water, 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 and then paint. Those of you who know me know that I've, um, I've had a burnout in my life and it has been 
geez, almost 20 years now, but I still have the effects of the burnout where I am so vulnerable to stress and anxiety. I just, I can't handle being around people anymore. Very, very, um, I can only handle small amounts of time around other people. And it's good because, you know what, I live in a very rural area. I only go out once or twice a month to do monthly shopping, and that suits me just fine. If I have to go out more than that, I really feel the stress. And even when I go out for my monthly shopping once a month, it takes me days to recover because not only am I physically exhausted, I feel emotionally exhausted. So I, I did my monthly shopping on Thursday this week. Today is Saturday. And yesterday I was just a zombie. I couldn't do anything. I basically just, I call it the chair and stare. <laughs> I sit in a chair and stare at the wall. Well, okay, it's not that bad, but you know, I did a lot of that, just looking out the window at the birds and sitting and watching videos. And I just, I had no brain power after being out for one day with people. It's really something. Anyway, I'm, I'm you know, I work with it because, you know, you have to basically focus on the progress, right? Not on the pain. I can't focus on my emotional pain. I have to focus on the progress I'm making as I recover. So if I sat there thinking, oh my gosh, people stress me out. I don't want to be out. I don't want to drive. I hate being around crowds. I don't feel like spending money. <laughs> you know, all that stuff. Focus on the pain and you will feel pain. So you got to focus on the progress that you're making in life. And you know what? The progress that I made over the last week? Heck, I have enough food for a month for my family. I was able to get everything done and I stayed within my budget. That's progress. And not only that, now I get to relax. I have a nice painting day. I can really, really relax right now. And I do need this art therapy because I need to find my energy again. I don't know if a lot of people understand that, you know. Let me know in the comments if you get it. I'm just switching to my clear water here for the, um, for the yellow color. I'm basically going to do the same thing, but I'm going to take my larger brush here and I'm going to fill in the lemons with water for that wet on wet technique. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you understand what I mean, you know, if you go through that too, if when you're around people, if it stresses you out to the point where you just feel exhausted sometimes, I feel like my energy is zapped. I feel people's negativity more than I think a lot of people would. Um, I just absorb it and painting here is just, oh, it's so nice and relaxing. You might hear some snoring in the background. <laughs> My dogs are both asleep and if you're if you don't know me too well, and you've seen some of my videos, I talk mostly about my dog Jack, my hound dog. Two of my dogs passed away in the last, you know, 2021, beginning of 2022. One of my cats too. It was a devastating year for pet loss. But I adopted a new dog last week. Her name is Raven. I'm just going into my yellow color. And I'm doing the same thing as I did with the leaves. I'm just dabbing the color in with my large brush here. I'm really, really filling it. I'm turning my brush, getting a lot of that paint in there. I'm just gonna dab it in. 
Yeah, I adopted a new dog. Her name is Raven. She's five years old. And um, I'm going to avoid that circle that I want lighter for now. I'm going to avoid it for now. So I remember where it is. Because <laughs> I'm talking and I can't really multitask too much. Yeah, Raven is a mountain dog mix. They said Bernese mountain dog, but I've done a little research and seems to me like she might be a Swiss mountain dog mix because the um, Bernese mountain dogs have kind of curly hair and Raven has straight hair. Here's a picture of her. She's so sweet. She's five years old and she's disabled. She has um, a very difficult time walking on her left hind leg. She wears a brace because she has severe ligament damage in her left hind knee. When she was um, brought to the SPCA back in February, which is sad for me, she was at the SPCA for four months, my goodness. Now, I just want to mention something right now. I kind of, this is a little, I don't like that I, I don't like all this that I put here. I want the lemon to kind of look like a lemon. So all I'm doing is getting some paper towel and I'm going to wipe that off just like that. And anywhere else. This is going to be, you know, kind of a loose water painting. I don't want it to be realistic, but I want it to look like a lemon at some point <laughs> or lemons all right so yeah raven was um at the shelter since february you know they like to sugarcoat words they say she was surrendered well to me she was abandoned and um left at the shelter for whatever reason and um I'm just going to let this dry a bit while I talk to you. She basically was, for lack of a better term, spoken for. I saw her ad in April and I applied to adopt her in April, but she was spoken for. Someone had already showed interest and I was really devastated because I felt such a connection to her. She really reminded me of my late dog Marlene who died last September. And I thought she would make a good fit for my hound dog, Jack. And I knew deep down in my heart that she was meant for my family. So I was following her story on their, the SPCA's Facebook page and I would comment and once in a while I would call and see how she was doing. I really, really wanted to make myself known to them, to let them know like, look, if anything happens, I'm here and I will take her. You know, she needs a lot of care. Uh, she has to wear the brace. She needs to have massages on her leg. She needs to have cold packs on her leg. And I'm, I'm a, a dog mama. <laughs> so I was just jumping at the chance to be able to take care of her. And lo and behold, on May 25th of this year, 2022, I got a call from that SPCA asking me if I was still interested because the other lady opted out. And I think I started crying from happiness because I just, I left it out to the universe and I said, look, I know she belongs here. I'm leaving it to you. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I got the call and two days later I drove the four hours to go pick her up and her and Jack got along so well. And she's just, she fits into this family so well. She, she was basically living in a, a kennel for four months you know, with a cement floor and, you know, she, she won't get off my bed. <laughs> she's just, she's a bed girl now. She knows her comforts. So I'm really, really happy that she came into my life. Okay, let's continue. These, this is all still wet, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take some darker green and I'm going to just loosely paint the stem and the stems that go down to the lemons but very loosely because I don't want any green to infiltrate my yellow. And I've got my number two round pencil here. 
And I'm going to choose a nice, I think this is phthalo green here. I don't know. Actually, I'm going to choose this green at first. Phthalo green might be a little too dark. So I'm going to choose this. And I don't want too, too much water on it. And I'm just going to paint the stem from this leaf. Yeah, this was a good color to choose. So you know what I said before, don't focus on the pain, focus on the progress. I think actually that might be a quote from Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, you know, the wrestler. And I believe that's what, you know, animals do. They don't focus on their pain, unless they're really in dire straits, but they focus on what they can do, you know, their happiness. So we should do that too. Focus on the progress. All right. So now what I'm going to do is some of these leaves are dry. Some of them are still wet. But I'm not interested in perfection. Like I said, I'm just going to take a little bit of that same green that I used for the stem and I'm going to draw some veins and leaves and I'm really going to take my time doing this because I want to enjoy every moment of this painting and this nice relaxing time I'm having just a few veins they don't have to touch each other off camera, I'm just loading up my brush again without too much water. I'm going to do the same thing with all the leaves. Another really, really great quote that I love is, be stronger than your excuses. You ever have those days where you can find every excuse in the book not to do what you should be doing or what, you know, would be right for you to do? I've had those days, all right. Now, I just want to let you know I'm switching to another brush if I can find it. Give me a second here. This is a liner brush. See? It's got a very long brush head. Once you get it wet, it becomes almost like a fine tip pen. And I'm switching to that because I think my number two brush is a little too thick for those veins. So I'm just wetting my liner brush and I'm going to put that into that green. And I'm going to use it like it's an ink pen, you see? Isn't that nice? It's, I think it's nicer than using the thick number two pen. Just make sure you load up your brush with pigment. I didn't finish this one. How about I finish this one? A couple of veins in there. I like that much better. So as I was saying, yeah, be stronger than your excuses. You know, when I wake up in the morning and I'm tired and my body's hurting, I have problems with my joints and my muscles. And sometimes, you know what? I could just really stay in bed all day. But that's not good. That leads to a little bit of depression and bad habits. And another thing I've noticed is when I don't do anything all day, I don't have energy anymore. I start to become very lethargic. It's almost like I'm in some kind of atrophy, you know? 
atrophy of the muscles means if you don't use your muscles, they start becoming weak. And I think it's the same thing for your spirit. If you keep making excuse, excuses as to why you can't do things or why it's not worth doing this or oh it's too much trouble and oh I'm never going to get it done and I'm not good at this. You know what? You're setting yourself up for low energy where you may not be able to come out of it. It's hard to come out of, you know, a situation of atrophy. It's hard. You have to work hard. I think those look pretty nice. Yeah, those look pretty nice. So I'm going to let those dry for a bit. I'm going to just clean off my liner brush. And just a tip, you know, every time you clean off your brush, reshape it. And if you can, stand it up to dry. Don't lie it down. Stand it up to dry. I have a little cup here that I'm using today. It's got my watercolor pencils in it, my little mannequin thing. <laughs> I'm just using that to put my paintbrushes in while they're drawing. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is put a second layer of yellow on my lemons. So I'm going to wet my number four paintbrush, put it back into my yellow, maybe a little more yellow, maybe a little more water than that. And just go over the whole thing again. Except for that white area. I want to keep that white. And you see what I'm doing? I'm kind of creating a better, a better outline of the lemon instead of it being like this. I'm creating a smoother edge. You don't have to do that. Do whatever you want. This is just really to relax. And you know, another great quote is, happiness is not by chance, it's by choice. And I know a lot of people will not believe this, but it's very true. Happiness is a choice. Now, sometimes you're unable to make that choice. And trust me, I've been there. I have been there. At the worst of the burnout, depression, and all that, I could not ever imagine I would be happy ever again. It took me 10 years to recover from that, by the way. It's very serious. Okay, I paused the video because I have an Android phone and for some odd reason, after a certain amount of time, I don't even know when, it decides on its own. Between 26 and 30 minutes, it just decides to stop. So I wanted to make sure I'm still going here. All right, so I'm going over the outline of that lemon. And I'm making it a little more lemon-shaped rather than just really squiggly around. And I'm bringing some of that yellow up, but not completely. Okay, it's looking very yellow, isn't it? <laughs> All right, I'm going to just rinse off my brush, wipe that down and shape it, and put it into my cup. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, which one? Let's see. I've got my number two round brush. I'm going to put a little bit of brown into the stem, just a little bit of brown. And I'm going to choose a nice light brown. See, I want to show you something. This is why I use a swatch, why I make a swatch. This brown right here, you might think that's a dark brown by just looking at the pan, but it's not. It's this color right here. It's a nice light 
brown. So that's why it's a good idea for you to do swatches. I don't want too much paint on here. And I'm just going over sort of the edge. Very light touch, the edge of the stems here. And I don't have a plan. I'm just enjoying this. <laughs> I'm just enjoying the painting. Just want a little brown. Make that a little thicker. Just so it's not a solid green color. And I'm going to do that for these stems too down here. That, right here. I'm going to not go near the yellow right now because it's still wet and I don't want the brown to bleed into it. Let me just make that a little smoother. All right. Now I'm going to take that kind of yellowy green here and I've got my same number two brush. I'm going to go in and just put a light second layer of that green color into the leaves. I'm going to dab it very gently and I'm not putting it all over the leaf, just sort of around the edges. Just like that, okay? Just around the edges. So that we have some complex colors on the leaves. It's not just one color. So you know what I was saying before is happiness being a choice. Um, that's something that is true for the most part, but like I said, you know, when, when I was in the worst part of the burnout. No one could convince me that I'd ever be happy again. And when you're depressed and you're going through mental health issues, or if you have mental health disorders and you're not getting any help, that's a little thick there. Hold on, let me just thin that out. Okay. If you don't have any help, meaning um, professional help or help from people that you love or you're incapable of helping yourself then there is probably a chance that you think that no happiness isn't a choice this is my lot in life because I was there but you know I did I was on pharmaceuticals for many years I'm so glad to be off them now because I did not like the side effects, but they did help me during the worst of the times. And um, I did therapy, I did talk therapy, which to be honest, I didn't find it helped me that much. But when I decided to go off the pharmaceuticals, I decided, okay, this is my choice. Happiness is a choice. I'm choosing to live and be happy now. And I decided to do all sorts of research to see how I could help myself naturally without having to take medication. And it took me a long time to do that research and it took me a long time to wean off that medication, but I managed it and I'm, I'm so much better now. Um, manage is the word. Uh, it flares up a lot, but you know, I try my best to manage everything through diet and exercise and meditation, yoga, supplements, a lot of herbal teas, calming herbal teas, breathing exercises, and art therapy. <laughs> so I read a lot of motivational things too. I'm just gonna move this because I'm seeing a little glare over here. So let me move this down a bit. There we go. Yeah, I, I watch a lot of motivational 
videos, and Tony Robbins is one of my favorites. So I choose to be happy. When you, you know, when you wake up each morning, just say to yourself, you know what? I choose to be happy today. I choose to be happy. Because believing in yourself, you're halfway there once you believe in yourself. If you say to yourself over and over, I'm going to be happy today. I'm going to be happy today. You're training your brain to be happy. I'm taking my liner brush and I'm going to get it nice and wet. And I'm going to go back into that darker green color because I'm going to put a second layer on the stems. Train your brain to be happy. Train your emotions to see the positive. Don't live in a world of negativity. It's not a fun world. Okay, back into the paint. I feel sorry for people who see the worst in life. I really do. And not in a way that I'm pitying them, but just if only they could see what I see. <laughs> you know, I'm just adding a little bit more dark green to some of the leaves where I feel that it got a little washed out. Just want a hint of those veins. Okay. Going to rinse that off. reshape it and put it in my cup. Now what I'm going to do is, let's see, I'm going to be careful here. I don't have any fresh water that's clear and I would like to use some white. So I have this little spray bottle here that I filled with water and just off camera I'm going to spray some of that water into my white. I don't know if you can see it, but I sprayed some water. I don't want to get it on my painting, so I'm doing it off camera. But there's some water right now in my white. And I'm just going to take um, a fresh brush that I haven't used yet because the others might have some yellow on it. And this is a just a number, I don't know, three slash zero round brush. I don't know. I guess each... Um, company has different numbers but I'm going into my white right now I'm just loading up it doesn't matter the size of your brush just get a, a brush that doesn't have any yellow and green on it I'm filling up that brush and I'm putting in a little white here on those areas that I left white and I'm bringing that out into the yellow to blend it there is some yellow on my brush right now, so I am going to clean that off completely because I don't want any yellow in my white pan. And I'm going back and I'm going to put some more in there. Oh, there's my cat. <laughs> there, just like that. And I'm going to do that on the other side as well here. Just white. Make sure there's no yellow on your brush if you're going right back into your pen. All right, and I'm getting it a little wet. I'm gonna pull that white out a little bit. There. Let me rinse that off and I'll put that in my cup to dry. I'm going to take my little number two brush right now and I'm going to wet it and I'm going to take the smallest amount, smallest amount of yellow. Wet it again and just bring some, use a lot of water because I'm creating kind of a wash here. I don't want it to be intense yellow here. I may actually go in 
with a clean brush and pull some of that off. Clean brush and pull some of that off. There, because I don't want it to be as yellow as the outside here. I want there to be a little transition of color there. I'm going to wet my brush and kind of wet the outside here. See where that, I made that line kind of where the two lemons meet and I'm going to pull some of that yellow off with a dryish brush so that it's obvious that this is the outline and I'm just going to move some of that paint over because I want it to be obvious that this one is in front of that one. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it with the bright lights. You might only see yellow, but I'm going back and I'm going to get with the tip of my paintbrush. I'm poking into that yellow pigment. I just moved my canvas. I'm sorry about that. And I'm putting a little bit of dark yellow poking it into the pigment. I don't want much water on that. And I'm putting more pigment around this side of the lemon. And I hope that looks dark for you. We're just having fun here. Now I'm just going to go back into that brown color that I had very, very lightly because the top of my lemons are dry. So I'm just going to put a little brown just so it connects to the lemon here. There we go. I'm going to take my number four brush now. And I want a very, very, very light greenish type of brown or a brownish type of green. So I think this is the one I'm going to choose here. And this is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to wet that a little bit. I'm going to just see what it looks like on my paper towel. That's really dark. I'm going to wet that. Let's see if I can get it a little lighter. What I'm looking for is kind of um, a darkish yellow. So why don't I try to do this properly? I'm wetting my brush and I'm taking my palette. I'm going to take some yellow. Okay, wetting my brush and I'm going to take some of that. I'm going to take a light. Let me show you. It's hard to show you what I'm doing. <laughs> I only have two hands. This color here, sort of that tan color. And I'm going to put that on my palette too, you see? And I'm going to see what that looks like when I mix it together. It becomes kind of like an orange, but it's more of a brownish orange. I'm going to wipe a lot of that off my brush. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to go around this side of the lemon. And I'm going to put it there. Some water on my brush. Soften the edge. Just soften that edge with water. Soften the edge with water. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Take some of that mixture that I had, not much, not much at all, from the stem all the way down. Now it looks like a line right now, but we're going to fix that when we soften it up. Okay, and now we're going to soften it up with water. Just soften it up with water.
maybe a little bit down here too. Oh, I got a little bit there. Using my finger to wipe it off. That's a new technique for me. <laughs> I'm just softening it all up there. All right. I'm taking some more of that mixture that I did, putting it up here and on the bottom of this lemon. And again, softening it all up and bringing that color up a little bit so that it blends really nicely. And if you see any harsh edges, just soften them up. Well, I've decided that I want to do some splatter. I do splatter on all of my paintings, so I don't know why I don't mention it at the beginning that you might need some acrylic paint because I end up always wanting to do splatter. <laughs> so I've got my hair dryer and I'm going to dry my lemons right now because there are some spots that are still wet. And if I apply splatter on them, it might bleed. So I'm going to put my hair dryer onto the cold setting and I'm going to dry my page, my canvas. Well, it's not dry yet, but I noticed I do have a few little spots of water that I'm going to gently take a paper towel and I'm going to blot them out. There's one on that stem there and if I use the hair dryer to try to dry it right now, it might bleed out. So I'm going to very gently absorb some of that water. You see it absorbed on the paper towel. Watercolor is so fun and it's so easy. Okay, I'm going to do that to the other side because there's a little blob of water there. Okay, I think I got it. There we go. Now I'm going to continue drying it with the hair dryer. Okay, so that's done. It's still a little wet in certain areas, but for the most part, it'll be fine. Now I've got my palette here. I'm just going to wipe off one of the compartments because I'm going to put some acrylic paint in here. I'm going to put some yellow acrylic paint and what I use usually for splatter is this liquid acrylic acrylic paint. It's from the dollar store and it's just bright yellow. So I'm going to shake that up and I'm going to pour some into my palette compartment. Don't do this over your canvas. I'm only doing it to show you what I'm doing. <laughs> You don't want to drop any. So you see this? I want you to put, you know, almost an equivalent amount of water in there. I'm going to do this kind of off camera. Well, maybe not an equivalent amount, but it has to be the consistency of, you know, Elmer's glue, that uh, white glue. You want it to be a liquidy version of Elmer's glue, if that makes sense. All right, so I'm going to wipe some of that off. And if you want, you can do a test page. You know, I've got this piece of paper here. I'm just going to see, take one of my pencils and That looks like a good consistency to me. All right, so load up your paintbrush, tap it a bit to get the excess off, and then take a pencil and start to tap. And yes, you might get it all over your fingers. And actually, I did one one time where it got here <laughs> right on the lens of the camera. So for the rest of my uh, painting, there were dots on the screen. I never ended up using that footage, but... <laughs> 
You might get big blops, you might get small blops. Put it all over your page. I love splatter. I think it's it's neat and it makes the thing the thing. It makes your painting look kind of fun, you know, if you don't have a background, if you have a white background, it just gives it a little bit of interest. You can put as much or as little as you like. And you don't have to use yellow, you could use green. That would be nice too. I think yellow though, because of the lemons. <laughs> I just got some on my face, okay. <laughs> what we do for our art. All right, there we go. I'm happy with that. Let me just clean this off. See, look at my hand. Got yellow splatter on my hand. On my nose too, I feel it on my nose. Just gonna wipe that off. Shape it up, put it in my cup. All right. So why don't I just pull off the masking tape? I'm sorry about that. Yeah, my whole thing is moving here. There we go. <laughs> Masking tape is sticking to everything. Stuck to my camera. That's why it's shaking right now. I had to pull it off. All right, let me take the side off. And I'll try to get it straight for you here. Is that straight? I think that's straight. There we go. Now I usually sign my paintings, but I sign them on the back. So I'm not going to sign this one because it's still wet, but when I have a chance, I'm going to turn it over and sign the back. This was a nice little afternoon of painting, of art therapy, and I hope that you enjoyed it. I decided to do these lemons today because every week on my blog on rainfrancisart.com, I have a themed weekly art date where you can or you don't have to follow the prompts and leave a link to your blog or to your photo of the art that you created. And this week, the theme is yellow, so I decided to do yellow lemons. And if you follow along with this painting, could you please let me know how it went? And I'd love to hear your comments in the comment section below. And if you like this content, please like and subscribe. And I think I will be doing a lot more art therapy painting videos in the future because it has really relaxed me. It's created amazing relaxing energy here in my home. Both of my dogs are snoring away and my cats are over on the cushions over there snoring away. They can feel my relaxed energy and it does a person good to really be able to just tune out from the stresses of life and just be able to be in the moment and enjoy doing something creative with your hands and listen to motivational speaking and listen to good quotes and share with other people's experiences. At least that's what I think. So I'm glad that you enjoyed this video if you did and I'm glad that you were here with me today. I'll see you next time on Rain Francis Art. Bye.